Oh well. Alright. Let's go to the fort. Actually, is anyone running up to us? No, it does not up, up, appear to, to be so. Alright. But as soon as we are liked by Caesar's Legion, then that dude by is going to run up Kaisar, to us. All visitors oh, must geez, disarm and relinquish it's all black and white. Alright, yeah, I agree. There we go. Uh, trippy. I think we need to run, yeah, this way. Alright, you know what? We're just gonna roll with Benny's suit because it lets us run a little bit faster. So, that's a that's gonna be the uh, be a plan. <laughs> when, when there's combat, we'll just throw on our, our heavy metal armor. This just lets us run super quick. Yeah, if this LP gets a lot of views, I'm probably going to buy the rest of the, uh, the downloadable content. And then that way, I'll be able to actually play it for you guys. To Kaisar's camp. Small thought occurs. I just ran all the, all the way here, and we still have... Uh, We still have uh, what's her face waiting for us in the lucky 38. Uh huh. Awe. True to Kaiser. Awe. True to Kaiser. I've read Mr. House's obituary. Had a high opinion of him. With Mr. House out of the way, I can. Fo First up are the boomers of Nellis Air Force Base, a tribe so reclusive it lobs artillery shells at anyone who comes near their <laughs> settlement. I want you to offer them an alliance with my legion. My terms are simple. Target their guns against the NCR side of the dam when I assault it, and they can keep their freedom. If you find they aren't amenable to this offer, destroy them. I'll handle the, Good. the boomers for you. Your first challenge will be to reach their settlement without getting blown up. After that, it should be easy. We are accepted now. Have you brought news of the... I expect... <laughs> ah, you gotta love Caesar. Like, I expect, res story. I expect results. Alright, is anybody running up to us? I don't see anybody. Yeah, we have to go up, um, up here. To yep, and Veronica is still in the lucky thirty-eight. So, is anybody running up to us? Does not appear to be so. Yeah, we're just gonna use to use this guy for a little while. Uh, it's hard to actually see down the sights, but uh, it's a pretty pretty darn beastly weapon. Entering the strip. All right, let's actually put on that uh, that heavy armor again. So just in case it, um, if that guy was trying to actually find us, he would definitely be able to, you know, run faster. So the strip has, has given us fame. And there's, there's Veronica. Aww, Follow me. Just All right. Let's check our... Data, quests, finger of suspicion. Do 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 do. It's hard to sleep in this place. I tell you, last night. I'm pretty sure that she's down in Vault life. 21. Uh, 
I'm pretty sure that that is the uh, case, but after we do this with Volps um, in in Colta, yeah, then he should offer it to us. Uh, where is Volt 21 actually? Oh, I think I think that uh, this is it. The Volt 21 gift shop. Hi, I'm Sarah. Sarah Weintraub. Welcome to the finest vault hotel in the whole world. Pretty sure it's the only one. Yep. Bye. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that, uh, yeah. This is pretty much how you start out Fallout 3, in, a, in the vault. But yeah, vaults in this game are some of the most un annoying places. Um, they're definitely, like, top tier for, um, annoyance factor. Just because everything looks really, really similar. This ain't your business. Walk. Alright. No murder business. Now fuck off or else. Um yeah, we have to actually kill him. Find yourself a hero. Or a gotcha, bitch. He did not get 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 her shot. Okay, good. Nobody missed. <laughs> Combat knife. There's a sawed-off shotgun. Now, I, like, I suppose if, if you wanted um, to be able to use 12 gauge ammo like right away, you could just technically, you know come on uh, do uh, down here and then you know you know just uh, uh, do whatever you. they were going to kill me are you all right I'll be fine eventually I may have overheard some things at Gamora that I passed on to the NCR that's all honest what I only talked to Captain Curtis over at McCarran I would never work at slavers honest No. Well, not really. <laughs> I mean, I'm not listening through doors or sneaking around or anything. People talk out. The NCR likes to keep tabs on the activities of the families, and they pay. Dangerous. It work. isn't normally. The NCR wanted me to just gamble and listen, nothing else. Okay. I do odd jobs here and there, usually helping Sarah keep the vault tidy. I came to New Vegas to be a professional gambler. Too bad for <laughs> me that the professional part isn't working out so good. But I love gambling, so I'm here to stay on the strip until they kick me out. Nice. Alright, so she's safe. Now let's... Re return to Volps in Colta. And assure him she is safe. Now let's put on the... Actually, let's do this. There we go. There we are. You can hot hot key anything in this game, really. Well, well, just about anything. Like you can't um hot key like empty bullet shells or something like that. Or maybe you can, and I just haven't tried. Interesting. That's the wrong way, I'm pretty sure. Maybe it's not, because I do remember walking in here. So, yep. Here, here we go. 
Alright, but that chick said that she talked with somebody over at McCarran. So I'm guessing that the dude that she talks with over at Mc McCarran is a spy. But that's not going to much matter con considering that we would burn Camp McCarran to the to the ground if, if, if Caesar author or if, C if Caesar told us to. So I mean, there is that thing. Let's do All right, let's bounce back here. By order of Kaisar, all your belongings. I agree. I'll wait. We will run quickly with Benny's suit on. We look like like a tool. You know, the really funny thing is that if you're playing as a female character, you can still get Benny's suit, but it's custom tailored to um, to an actual female character if you do that, which I find to be kind of funny, actually. All right. Let's get up here. We're going to talk with Volps in Kulta. All right, Run faster, quick save. Or I will throw you off the side. Run faster, or I will throw you off the side. Come on, we still have, yeah. Our, I really hate that, how that kind of slows down and glitches out like that sometimes. But, mm, it is what it is. Yeah, my first ever playthrough for this game Slave was with uh, Caesar's Legion. Alright, Veronica, Should wait here. Something to read. Kaisar, I bid er Fulps in Colton. Was there more for us to just I know the captain well. <laughs> if you wish to be of service. Go talk to him. Bear in mind that you are now responsible for guarding the secret of his true allegiance. If the NCR finds out, we'll know how that happened. For now, anyway. Nice. She'll need to lay low while the Omertas are scrambling to find out what happened. They'll eventually send more men after her, but I'm sure I'll come up with a better solution to the problem by then. Nice. Volé. The camps are getting crowded. The camps are getting crowded, then it's good. Alright. Follow me. Edie's such a small target though. Aw, just I mean I don't I don't think that there's any you know real reason to, you know. Yeah, let's see. Quests. I put a spell on you. Talk with Camp. Talk with Curtis over at Camp Mc, McCarran. Hmm. So let's look around. Is he trying to run up to us and give us the uh, authorization, more or less? All right. It doesn't. It doesn't really look like it. So. Let's go to. Let's go after the uh, boomers. No, let th let's go after Camp McCarran because do doing that thing quickly is going to be better. Because the uh, Volari is a pretty long quest, actually. Yeah. No. Pick. Gotta. We're gonna pick that one back up. The matter modulator. Yep. But the matter modulator is the beastly one. It's, it's rapid fire plasma weapon. Alright, well let's make our way over to uh, the Camp McCarran as quickly as we possibly can. I 
believe there is only one way into Camp, Ma Camp McCarran, and that's actually uh, over this way. And then this way. Yep, there we go. Because Camp McCarran is one of, it's the largest NCR base. And in a couple playthroughs, I've actually co completely wiped it out. Which was, it's actually kind of fun, because then you get to loot everybody and take all of their stuff. So, it's actually really quite amusing to wipe out all of the uh, NCR. Well, no, because that's where this is where Camp McCarran is. Yeah. Camp McCarran. Hopefully, we're not enemies with the uh, NCR yet, because I know that once we are, they won't actually let us through here. Well, that well they will, but they're gonna shoot at us. Run, run, run. Let's go meet up with him. Patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winner. Terminal building. Yeah. Nice to meet you. I'm Kurt. Christ, keep it down. You want to blow the whole thing? <laughs> We've worked years for this. But maybe it's good for you here. Shu knows about the leaks, and I'm supposed to find the spy for him. At first, I couldn't believe my luck. But since I haven't produced results, for obvious reasons, I feel him looking at me differently now. Maybe he's just thinking about putting someone else in charge. Maybe he's starting to suspect. Either way, it's bad for me. Especially once this next part goes down. Took me three and a half years just to make captain. Usually takes four, but I made sure there was an early vacancy. Caesar sees threats before they're even aware of them. He sent me long before we moved to occupy the Eastern Riverbank. Nice. And now all my work, all the waiting, is about to pay off. Next part. If you haven't noticed, the NCR bolsters its presence on the strip from here. Sends troopers on the monorail and shifts. The monorail lets them occupy two positions for the price of one. It's a supply line that's immune to raiders and other hindrances on the ground. If someone were to cut that line, both positions would be much weaker, fragile. They know this, and they watch it like hawks. But I've been here a long time, and I've learned everything there is to know about it, and I'm going to blow up that train. Sweet. I told you. I think they're starting to suspect me. You're going to help me cast away those suspicions. You're going to put the bomb on that train. I'll be sure to be in the presence of several reliable eyewitnesses when it happens. Then, we're going to pin this on a scapegoat. I plan on disappearing after this operation. It'd be a matter of time before they trace it to me. Figured out I was a frumentarius. But with your help, maybe I can stay on after all. Make plans for something grander. Tell me what I, I gotta do. I have an explosive stash in a trash can, next to the ticketing counter. Along with some incriminating documents. You'll pick them up and make your way upstairs to the monorail terminal. They changed the guard there at 0900 and 1800 hours. There'll be a small window where there's no one guarding the train. Put the bomb in one of the vents inside the train on the back wall, towards the joint that connects the cars. Arm it, and get out of there. I've also left some bomb ingredients in with the explosives. You're to take those to the footlocker of Private Crenshaw. Crenshaw's a problem child. Lots of run-ins with his superiors. It'll be easy for them to believe he's working for the Legion. All right. Report him to Colonel Shu. Do all that and we should be free and clear. Oh, and Crenshaw should be dead before you report him. Don't leave any chance for him to deny the bombings. Let's say he pulled a gun on you. I've got him on guard duty patrolling the tarmac just inside the south gate. And I reassigned the other guard, so he should be alone. His footlocker's in the barracks in the main concourse. All right. Good. Try to plant the explosives quietly if you can. You'll make both our lives easier. But first things first. Go offer your services to Colonel Shu. Tell him you'll work independently to find the leak. He's running out of options. 
He'll accept as long as you don't give him a reason.